guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. And some of you may on Twitter, The Gaming Drag. Today, I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Case Case Path. So, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right back into it, shall we? Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Alrighty. Other than playing a style that you don't see as often nowadays, I don't really remember much of note for him. Short, stocky eagle, I think. His style is very orthodox. His strokes are nothing special. His volleys are decent. He's kind of fast on his feet. But that means nothing if you can destabilize him before he can get to the net. Against someone like Tanabe, he wouldn't have a, he wouldn't have a chance. Yeah, rip, dude. Better luck next year. As for the girls' division, eh, right. I literally know none of these girls other than Saya. I'm sure whoever is playing against her is probably going to be a nervous wreck. But other than that, I have no idea. I really should start paying a little more attention. At the very least, playing against Saya was a very eye op was very eye opening for me. Maybe I'd be able to pick up something useful from watching the girls since their playstyle seemed to be so different. But then again, maybe it's a bit late for that. Let's see, what else? Seriously, I have no idea what to do with myself. This might be a problem. <laughs> Sometime later. After what felt like an eternity of merely pacing around and looking at my phone semi-obsessively in an attempt to relax, I eventually caved and sought advice from the one place I'd previously sworn never to go to. My coach. Or, well, maybe that I... Maybe not that I swore not to do it, but I certainly didn't expect it. Surprisingly, though, he was a lot more insightful and helpful than I expected of him. If I'm being honest, I feel a little guilty for my previous for my previous opinion of him. He's shown glimpses of actually being good before, but I always always rationalized them away, partly because of his goofy attitude that makes it hard to take him seriously. But after the conversation we had, I really need to be better about judging people, don't I? Once my concerns have been dispelled, I headed into the male locker room, getting myself dressed as quickly as possible to minimize the chances of being walked in on. It's not like I planned on waiting from, waiting from the get-go so that the other guys would get the chance to get changed before me and leave the room empty when I came to use it. Nope. Not at all. God, imagine if Tanabe were to walk in on me undressing. That would be mortifying. Or worse, if I were to walk in on him when he's half-naked, that would be... That would be... Nope, nope, not going there. Absolutely not. Bad thoughts. Bad thoughts! Realizing I might have had a crush on him at some point was already bad enough. I don't need to be getting an erection thinking of it. Fuck, Keisuke might- Fuck, Keisuke might be understanding, but I'm sure even he would kill me if he knew. Embarrassed, I quickly get changed into my tennis clothing, awkwardly pulling up my shorts and trying to hide the half-erect volume inside my underwear. Oh god, it's even a little damp, too. I really need to get off soon. Shaking off those kinds of thoughts, I wash my face and give myself some time for it to go down before I head out, walking around the interior of the arena and searching for a familiar face. No sign of Keisuke yet, which is... not ideal. Then, as I'm about to give up on finding someone, I spot the one face I really wish I wouldn't see right now. The moment I notice him, I think of turning around and trying to sneakily walk away, but it's far too late as the Red Panda notices me and calls me out. Oh wow, did the game actually fucking crash? One second, y'all, I think the game actually crashed. Oh wow, that's so weird. Hey, y'all, no idea what happened, anyway. Okay. Morning, Yuichi-kun. And it's Kun now? Wasn't it San just yesterday? Can you make up your mind? <laughs> hey there, Tanabi-kun. I'm, I'm glad to have a chance to talk before our matches start. I trust that you are well. As well as I can be, considering I'm talking to you right after that thing while I was getting changed. Yeah, I I'm totally fine. Are you really? Doesn't seem like it. <sighs> Did he pick up on something? Why do you ask? Is this about yesterday? I knew I'd made things a bit awkward, but I didn't know what exactly I could say to make it better. So I decided to act as if nothing had happened. Was I wrong to do so? Oh, wait, is this what he's talking about? My god, I was worried he could tell I was thinking of, uh, bad things in there. It's fine, no need to worry about it. Please don't do that. You still have that bad, you still have that habit of minimizing problems to make others feel better. And that really doesn't help. I, 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 look, I don't really know how to say this. It's the kind of conversation I've been meaning to have for over a year, but I can never find the correct words for it. I've been so focused on apologizing and, make the <clears throat> and making up with you that I slipped into being far too casual yesterday, as if I had the right to do that. What? Hang on, what's happening? Tanabe is apologizing? Huh? I was stupid and proud and let my temper get the better of me. 
I assigned intent to your actions without even asking you about it and then took my assumptions out on you. For that, I sincerely apologize. How am I even supposed to respond to this? One minute nothing and then... I... Sorry, I can imagine that this has come as quite a surprise to you, right? I didn't mean to make you uncomfortable or anything. If I'm being honest, I would completely understand if you had refused to even hear me out. My actions over the last few years didn't exactly foster goodwill. Tanabikun, I really don't know what to say here. I can understand. I can't begin to imagine how much I've hurt you, so it would make sense for this to be so hard for you. To tell the truth, it only took me about a year or so to regret the way I handled my insecurities back then. By then, you had given up on messaging me, and I didn't know how to re reach out. Worse still, when I did talk to you during the competition after that, I was too awkward and embarrassed to say anything of substance. And then after we played each other, I got frustrated again. Sadly, that particular cycle kept repeating for far longer than I would care to admit. So, what you're saying, you've been meaning to make up with me for almost two years and just didn't? I am... Um, I suppose so. There you go, water time. Yeah, that really doesn't cut it for me. You've had more than your fair share of chances and you never even hinted at it. And now all of a sudden? Why now? Are you just saying this because I've caught your interest again? What? No! No! For the first time in years, I get to see a side I'd forgotten about. Tanabe actually being absolutely speechless. Even back then, it was a very rare view indeed. Absolutely not! That's not it at all! Then what? Because, yeah, if you're gonna say all that, then I'll be honest and say I'm not buying it. It's been three fucking years, Tanabe. Perhaps I'm a little more curt than necessary, but seeing him saying all these things out of nowhere, once the shock wears out, the anger, frustration, hurt, resentment that have been hiding underneath the surface all begin to boil over. What the hell is this even about? I didn't know how to say what I had to say. You know I've never been good with people. Talking about these kinds of things is difficult for me, so I kept postponing it. Then it hit me a few weeks ago. We have, what, the Tokyo Regional, then the All Japan Junior, and that's it. It's not like I live anywhere near you, and dropping by in your city solely for this would have been... awkward. When I realized I was running out of time, I didn't want this to be how we'd end things. For good or bad, even though we're both going pro, there are so many tournaments every year that outside of the major ones, the odds of two random players meeting up more than once or twice a year are slim at best. I realized that if I didn't find a way to say it soon, I likely would never have the chance. And the thought of that was painful for me. I sigh, covering my face with both paws and rubbing my temple as I try to gather my thoughts. Of all the directions I could have anticipated this conversation going in, this one certainly wasn't one of them. What exactly do you expect me to say here? Nothing in particular. I don't expect you to do or say anything. I merely wanted to say it before it became too late. I see. Well, that's great, but I can't afford to worry about this right now. I need to, you know, concentrate on the competition? I I'll see you later, Tanabe. Right. Still, thank you so much for at least hearing me out. And take my leave as fast as possible, not wanting to hang around for even a second longer in case he, he decides to add something else to it. Sure, I guess it's not outside the realm of possibility that he's been thinking about me and what happened between us back in middle school. If I've been feeling nostalgic and thinking on it because we're close to graduating, there's no reason the same can't be true for him. It's just so convenient. Or maybe that's my spiteful side coming out. All I know is I'm in no position to be focusing on this right now. Instead, I continue to search around for any sign of Saya. After a couple minutes as I'm about to go outside to see if she's still walking in circles by the entrance, I spot her walking around. Still in a daze. At least she's changed? Still zoning out, are we? Hmm? Oh, hey, Ichikun. No, not really. Then what's with that look on your face? I can't find Keikun, and he's not answering his phone either. Oh. Oh, damn, that's not good at all. Aren't we on in less than 15 minutes? Now do you get why I have this look on my face? Yeah, this is concerning. Should we look for him? Maybe he's in here already and we just haven't run into him yet. Sure, that's what I was doing. It's not like we can afford to search outside. You don't think he'd miss our match, do you? If he does, I'm making him run a hundred laps around the school as punishment. Yikes, I can't see him surviving that. I really should find him unless I want my boyfriend to be killed by a Spartan punishment game. 
where have you looked already? I was looking in the side building a couple minutes ago, then I came back here and ran into you. Side building? Why there? There's no games being played there today. I'm surprised it's even open. Yeah, but Kaken kept going on about wanting to be alone, right? What better place to be alone than the building that no one's expected to be in? Ooh, that's actually pretty smart. Still turned out to be wrong, but yeah, pretty smart. This would be a lot easier if the others were here by now. Don't get me started on them. I can only afford to be annoyed at one person at a time. Wait, seriously? This might be important information in the future. I'll make sure to remember that. The two of us walk around the venue for a bit, exploring the area Saya mentioned not having looked into yet or searched for the missing hair. As the minutes pass, the feeling of dread growing on the pit of my stomach increases little by little until I'm at risk of being overtaken by a silent, insidious panic. Where the hell did he go? What is he thinking? I don't know, but once I find him, I'll kill him. Now that helps nobody. It helps me! I'm not sure the cost is worth it, though. Doubling back from where we were, we return to the entrance once again as we discuss the possibility of looking for him outside the building. As we approach the front entrance, three other familiar faces come into view, looking around as if in search of someone. I cross eyes with Aki, and with a smile, my little brother points at me and warns the other two. Ah, good timing. I was wondering where you two went off to when it's almost time for your matches to start. You're not the only one. We were wondering the same thing about a certain missing person that should be named. That should not be named. You don't mean- wait, where's Keisuke-san? Exactly! You mean he's not with you? Does it look like he's with us? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you were planning on pulling him out of your hat. Those are rabbits, you ass. And no, we aren't. We weren't planning on doing anything like that. Bummer. It'd be a showstopper. Have you guys looked around for Case Case on yet? We just did. He's nowhere on the venue. At least not that we could find him. Seriously? His match is in less than ten minutes. The hell is he thinking? Wish I knew. Suddenly, a loud muffled chime echoes from Sai and I and I's bags at almost the same time. As we both know that this kind of coincidence can only mean one thing, we immediately share a look of concern. We're being called, aren't we? Yep, all players are to head to their assigned courts in preparation for their matches. Why do I feel like I have a lump the size of a fist firmly lodged in my throat right now? On the upside, Case Case Sam will have received that message too. I'm sure he can't be that far from here. He'll probably come running. He better. I really, really hope so, yeah. We should get going, Yuichi-kun. I know, I'd rather not, but I know I have to. God knows I won't be able to relax and focus while worrying, though. Yeah, well, at least you'll know when he arrives since you two are playing in the same court. I'll have to sit at, I'll have to sit at mine and wonder. Don't be like that. One of us can head over there and give you a thumbs up once he gets here. Please do, I don't think I'll be able to concentrate otherwise. You got it. Now come on, it won't do anyone any good if you two are also late for your matches. Aniki is a different story on his own, but you do have an opponent you could leave hanging, Sayani. I know, I know. I'll be going now. Good luck to you both. Yeah, good luck. I'm wishing all three of you the best. Uh, thanks, everyone. We'll see you guys in a bit. Sai and I take a deep breath, sharing a look and a nod before finally heading our opposite ways and into our respective courts. As much as this situation sucks, we both know we can't afford to bring this mood in the game with us. At least for me, I'm going to need some serious work to relax myself if I want to have any chance of focusing before the game. I place my bags on the bench, greeting the umpire and the officials working to clean, the, clean and check the court, then promptly sit down and close my eyes. Deep breaths, Yuichi. This is when you really need to remember to take deep breaths. I might try taking some of Coach's advice from earlier today. Let's see, what's an easy pre-game routine that I can try to create starting today? I don't have a drink with me, so mimicking Sai is out of the question. It should be something quick, easy, and repeatable. Oh, I know, I'll listen to some music. Maybe listen to that same song on a loop. That could work as a pre-game routine. And I'm going to pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. All right, y'all, I'm going to gonna go ahead and go and relax for the evening. Y'all have a lovely rest of your night. I love you all, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.